Video. Here we are at Wagons National 2022. You can see behind me two dozen adventurers just parked up here today together. Some from interstate, New South Wales and South Australia, from what I understand. I don't think I've seen this many wagons, or um, well, adventurers, in one event. So this might be a scene that you may not see ever again, given how old these vehicles are today. Um, but I reckon there's probably every single model here that ever got made. I'm just trying to think. Oh, except for the. Um, Except for the police SX8, that was a rarity. I don't think we've actually ever seen that anywhere. So, just take a look at you guys. Come have a look. Look at this. Oh God, this is amazing. It's a whole parking lot full of spare parts. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Chevy guys, you probably know him in the group. I've actually spoken to him a lot and today's the first time I've met him. So This is his uh, thousand dollar car that looks like he picked up in 2020, from what I understand. And it's one he's taking to Cape York next year with the rest of the adventurers. Um, what's your plans long term for this car? Right, going by the story, right? I, I never intended to keep it. It, yeah, was, yeah, it was supposed yeah. to be just buy it for the seat, wreck yep, it out, and yep. get rid of it. Um, put it on the road, and it ended up having to go to Darwin. Yeah, okay. Right? And that trip sort of cemented its place in the family. Yep. And um, I'll probably keep it forever. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I can't. I can't see a reason why I'd ever need to get rid of it. It doesn't owe me a cent. Okay. Um, and if it makes Cape York and back, then all the better. Yeah, um, definitely make Cape York. Well, no problem. I mean, it depends on the tracks you pick we'll there. That's yeah. that's what. That's At the what moment, I'm to. I'm pretty much going PDR the whole way. Yeah. I, I'm towing a camper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I have kids in the car. We'll see. Did you see the condition report from this year? I haven't no. Best you don't then. <laughs> Even the it's not special at all. No, really. Just, just a great car. You can just yep. drive anywhere, not worry about it. Correct. And take it wherever Correct. it will let you go, which I mean, is pretty much everywhere, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that. Check out our other videos if you haven't seen them. Um, cool. Oh, thanks, Chevy. No worries at all. Uh, oh, hang on. There we go. Didn't forget, didn't forget this time, guys. Now that you're, uh, I suppose, on the our channel, get yourself a Awesome. Feature. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, mate. Now, it kind of sits oh, in, wow. okay like that. Like, you can go back a couple of mil. Yeah. I've made a template now. Um, and I've just got brackets to on the existing pillar. But, but if you get a stainless bit made up under there, instead of my PVC job, I reckon we're onto something. I haven't done any dyno tests so to check before and after if there's any restrictions. Yeah. Um, but I think for the V8, this is going to be a problem. Why? I don't think it's going to be well enough. Big enough. Uh, it's so I've got to find someone that's willing to let me use their dyno for free. <laughs> Guys, if you want to give us a hand, I want to just dyno pig before we put the snorkel and dyno it after this. And if it's dropped significantly, we'll remove it. Well, we'll do a two setup. We might actually, because in the in the house, you can see on Luke's one over here. Because we've got because we've got we've got a plug that we can put in here to block this side. But when you're not like if you're going to cross a big river, maybe he'll come in, plug it. But when he's not crossing rivers, he can leave that open. Yeah, okay, guys, Chris. Great. I'm also Chris. What a great name. <laughs> Look, this is his uh, V6 Alex. Uh, Alex six. Uh, Alex six. Yep. Alex six. It's um, the sister of my car, really. It's the same colour, isn't it? 
what dirt? Yes. What I know you I know you do a lot of towing, you drive, you do many, many K. My question is, what is the biggest thing in wear and tear for the distances you travel? Tires. Tires, okay. That's probably the obvious one. The next one. <laughs> um other than that, not a lot. So she served you well, really? She serves me really well. So I do about 6,000 Ks a fortnight yep. in this. Yep. Um, we're at just under half a million Ks on it now. Uh, and still, there's a lot of the parts are, are fairly original. Um, okay. CVs, have you had to do them yet? How many Ks? Uh, so we're at four, 470. 470? 470,000 Ks. It's never even done chains. Never done chains. 05 or 06? 06. Okay, yep. interesting. Original gearbox still? Okay, uh, gearbox service interval. Yep, all the time. So <laughs> what are we talking? Every twenty-five. Every, every forty, I think. Okay, that's reasonable. You're kind of close to what I do. So um, standard. You got trans cooler, obviously. Trans cooler. First, first thing could, was could not yeah. have gone away without that. Going okay. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, your spotlights. Spotlights. Yeah, lots of spotlights. I, I travel through rural New South Wales and yep. outback Queensland a lot. Um, and so I like my roos extra crispy. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Do you have any mods or anything that really, when did you lose that one? That was passing the road train in Outback Queensland. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mine's actually starting to lift. Yeah. I keep I keep saying to myself, I've got to take it off and glue it back yeah. on before I lose it, but I haven't yet. Great idea was these, these things. I did this on mine, and the amount of heat you lose inside in summer, yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. It's insane. It's yeah. insane how much difference it is. Yeah. I got some curtains made up for mine, so with this, and my two curtains all around. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, everything kind of looks pretty standard on this. It is pretty stock. Yeah, just... uh, your, your air shocks are still in good working order? Just, yeah. Okay. Just there. there. And what do you. You tie heavy loads? Uh, fairly light. So it's a oh, okay. seven meter dog float. I'll pull up a picture. Um, yeah, so I, I drive around Australia transporting dogs. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. So that's roughly how the back usually looks. Got a spare set of springs in there? <laughs> no? Yeah, I'm upgrading the springs there. Upgrading or replacing? Uh, a bit from column A and a bit from column B. Okay, yep, yep, I understand. Um, yeah, so I don't know how well you can see that, but that's what I drive around Australia with. Oh, I'll get you to send that to me, then I can yeah. check it out. Yeah. So I sleep in the back of this, so I just fold the seats down, roll out to the mattress. and. What mattress do you use? Excuse the mess. That's all right. That one. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Um, Denali. Yeah, okay. Very comfy. How much? It's about 350, I yeah. think. How long have you used that one for? Three years. Okay. Any back problems? Like, did you have an existing nut and no. you find it comfortable? It is amazing. It's, yeah, best I could get, and that's why I got it. How often do you sleep in this? Every night. Pretty much every night. Wow, there you go, guys. I, I, so. I sleep in here more than I, do, I sleep in my own bed at home. Okay. All right, yeah. very interesting. Um... Standard tyre size, or um, have, you gone, have you gone up? I've gone up a size, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Cooper CS5, brilliant tyre, absolutely love them. Um, I, I think they're the one that should have come with the car. <laughs> Any um, performance mods or anything like that? Just all stand, completely standard? Uh, got the stock V8 exhaust, 25mm um, manifold spacer, yeah. um, and the HSV airbox, other than that. Stop. Nice. Stop Did well. ever hit a roof? I've or had, anything for that matter? I've had two hit me. Humans included? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had two roofs hit me. They, they bounced off the side of the car. Yep. Um, yeah, no, no damage to the front or anything like that. Okay. Oh, look. Um, a few I, birds I know, few, yeah. Few I know you covered the case, so yeah. it's just another example of how these cars, if they're looked after well, they, they do take you to distance despite everyone's you know they all drive can create you a bit of grief but so uh, yeah the only downside i'd say about it is just the fuel use but the, yeah the, the well, peace of mind with driving it what do you get about 14 15 towing depends where i am anywhere okay. between 13 and 17. thanks for showing us your car i mean i've <laughs> seen on you oh, sorry facebook all the time but yeah. it's always weird because when you see them in person you, you they are all different. You find yeah. the differences and then you remember they're in your head. Well, yeah. If you see a picture, you just don't. Yeah. Um, right. Since you're on, you've had a video with us, you just get a stubby hold of it. Oh, nice. It's been featured. Sweet. So, Thank you. Hopefully many more years to go on that, mate. Yes. Take it easy. That's right. the plan. All right, follow me over here, boys. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go. Got another, another LS Adventure. Alex, eight.
He was Darian, perfect pea plater. And don't worry, it's only 118.5 kilowatts per ton. Okay? It's actually not, I got it tuned last week. Okay, what is it now? 100, 100 Probably 130? 30, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> um, he pulled me over actually to have a look at it, the new draw system he had set up. So yeah. tell us a little bit about it, mate. Well, I just built it last week, for, mostly for all my tools, but it works really well for camping. These come all out. Grippy, you've got all the grippy stuff in there. Yeah. I like to see that. Yeah, yeah. That's so where these cars go, guys. If you don't have something like that, stuff just moves around. Trust me, I know. Got the draw slide with the. Uh, Rare fridge. Ah, uh, the one you got gifted oh, that is to. Awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. Fridge, I love it. Yeah, yeah. All right, just take the camera away, guys. Everyone, look <laughs> the way. It's pretty That's very nice. Yeah. Got this as well. Oh, what's going on here? Spare wheel. All my recovery gear that I hopefully don't have to use. I could cut some dead bodies up and put the parts <laughs> in there and get out of there. You're not doing it right if you don't have to use your recovery gear. I think we might need to take him and go and get him stuff. Oh, a few hold times. on. Hang on. Oh, sorry. I'll... Secret storage. Okay. Pretty sweet. I'm very interested in this. This is great idea. What are you yeah. putting here to stop that from? Obviously, obviously, you put this in here for a reason. Yeah, I have saw horses for work. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I got my lights and all that mounted. How would be? I tell you, it would be. A... Pull that out. That's two. Oh, that's two. You know what you could do? You could get a um. Like a door slide thing, so you could yeah. slide that open and hold it open. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then yeah, you could yeah. just freely go like in a there. Lock. Yeah, just like hold a. It up. Cause you've got the room. Yeah. But that's. If I ever do a touring setup, because I actually what I actually do want to do, I want to do a touring setup for one of the the Silver Adventure in the future. Yeah. See all these stickers here. Yeah. Really nice. Most important one. I put that on <laughs> two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Yeah. I was going through my drawers and, and I found two of them. I forgot that over there. Okay. So I chucked, got, got the one on the side as well, of course. Top supporter, guys. Top supporter. Yeah. Okay, it's really good. And then look at this, Chris. 12 volt panel. Looking for a charity. Looking for a charity. Nice, nice. 12 volt. Yeah. Need some Anderson plugs out the back here. Yeah, I'm getting dual battery soon, hopefully. Yeah. Anything else that's special on this since I've last seen it? Yeah, I got new rotors. Doesn't look like you've got. Nah. <laughs> Don't it's, worry guys, he's got everything else, but he still hasn't done his air shots. It's sagging probably more than when you last saw it. Okay. <laughs> New rotors. <laughs> and I've got a corded shuttle body as well. Ah, uh, that happened like uh, oh God, my a year and a half so ago. Oh, okay. I, um, I did not notice that. Like. I ripped. <laughs> I ripped the whole thing off, yeah, and that plastic well, belt here, it, up, yeah. Yeah. it just snapped it, so I yeah. screwed it just back on. Yeah. Yeah. Still going? Yeah. Most important thing, unlike mine? No issues. <laughs> no water or anything in the engine. No, no, water, yeah, no, in, no water in the oil. oil. No oil coming out of places <laughs> where there shouldn't be. Yep. That's going to be the running joke today, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. No, no, come over here. We're going to have a look at Chris's... Um, uh, no, yeah. CX8. Yeah. So, um, as you all know, Chris is a wonderful name and he owns a wonderful car. And we have his very well, well maintained. BY. Uh, sorry, I was just. B, B, <laughs> BY wagon. See, even, even I'm not going to write. Uh, did you do this? Yes, I did. Yeah, yes. it looks good. I love it. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, it's very clean. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, uh, maybe you need to come out with your mate and dirty it up a bit. <laughs> well, you, if you can take this off road, gee, I'd feel bad. But you've got your awning. Do you go out, do you go out a lot? Yeah, yeah do a bit of camping so out at uh, Gommendale, out uh, past Trelgan. Okay, um, yeah, so you're down that way, are you? Yeah, yeah, a uh, little place uh, down Merriman's Creek Road. It's pretty quiet, no one knows about it really. Yep, you just yeah. told everyone. Yeah, half of Australia, <laughs> so, but it's all good. But no, no, you know, it's it's a nice little place, family friendly, for the motorbikes, with we ride motorbikes and okay. stuff, so. Yep, yeah. yep. You've got the uh, very famous... Cracks all the You go walk around. Yes. They're all Couldn't find any. Yeah. <laughs> they were not doing it. Yeah, no. So. Uh, oh, of course, very important. It's got the sticker boys. Yes, yes. <laughs> Exhaust system? Yes, that's a twin tonneau. Okay. It's actually off my VU ute when I'm doing it up. All right. Because my other one had a big hole in it. Yep. So they do fit. For people that don't think they do, they do from the utes to these. So. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I've, I've got a dual battery system. It's not in there at the moment. Okay. It's um, just a portable one. Yeah, I took it out because I have the battery on trickle charge at home. Yep. 
Um, so I usually just sits in there with the fridge. Look at this, it's actually very neat inside, nice and clean. Yeah, I have all my little compartments, you know, you put all your crap in there and whatnot, yeah. so. Yep. Um, yeah. Best spot, guys, if you didn't know, in, instead of an LX, if you get a CX, this spot here oh, is a king you know. for 100, a 100 amp hour lithium battery. You'll actually fit one in there, believe it or not. So, yeah. and that's only downside to having an, LX, uh, an LX, you got a subwoofer there. I would prefer to have a, um, Lithium battery then after going to Simpson where it's pretty remote power is in essence because sunlight whilst available everywhere very limited in some uh, when the weather's not too great but um look how shiny that is too. <laughs> I don't think you, I don't know what type of off roading you think I do but I don't think your car would survive. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, so but yeah you know it's um, it's a nice tidy rig. It's when I first bought it, I, um, all the paint was delaminating off it. So I was sort of, what do I do? Do I just fix the bits and pieces and make it a nice clean car? And then I sort of started and I was like, nah, I'm going the whole way. So I took everything off it, resprayed the whole car, I did all the black. Hey, it's off right. No. So. It's, it's in too good of a condition. Yeah, it's nice, you know. And then I went and bought all LX8 interior. Took out all the cloth, put left dual electric front seats in it. Yeah, okay. All the black dash from the LX8. In there, all the gauges and switches. And Door cards, obviously, with the lights. Yep. Not wired yet. I'll yep. give uh, Matt Craft a shout out for their mats in WA. I remember seeing that. Post. They are beautiful. If you look at the back one, the back door, it's got the hump that goes over the centre and it says it in there. So it's quite nice. Very, very nice mats. But yeah, so. Custom embroidery, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. They've done a fantastic job of that. So I'll hit them up for the SSU. We'll do that next. So, yeah, that's all stock, you know. It's... Stock's good. I mean, before I was into the adventures, people would think I'm crazy. I, I had an um, E3 Senator, and we had an SSU, WM Statesman, and I just wanted to keep a stock looking and as clean looking as I could. That was it. I just had a big thing for stock stock looking cars. Then the adventure came along, and it's full modifications. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Start living a bit. So, oh, well. That's good. Thanks for the... Um, Got travel a bit with the ruse, I see. Got the ruse whistle. Yeah, no, they were on the got it. Oh, okay. I don't know if they attract the ruse or. Yeah, I don't know. I've never really, I've never had an incident, but I never bothered getting them. But I figured if I ever do, I will get them. Yeah. But, oh, nice maybe, stuff. maybe if I do get one, I'll hit one eventually. I might be able to put the black headlights in there. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> so, but no, it doesn't get out much now because I've got a work car, so it just sits there, really. Oh, yeah, I see you. Yeah. Isolated there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, pretty good. Yeah, How many yeah, K's yeah. on it? Uh, two, well, just about to go 280, had to rebuild the transmission, as you know. Yeah. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah, no, it's too good, great colourful car. And how long you had it? Uh, bought it in no, May, April, May, not last year. Yeah. Not this year, the year before last, so, so a year and a half. So, and just to get away with it, so. You know, COVID gave us so much time, didn't it? It did. To do a lot of stuff. It did, and also it made it harder to get them. Very. <laughs> Very oh, very good. Well, too easy. There you go. Thank you very much. Bring on a video. Bring you along to a trip one day. Uh, not in this car. I don't want to, I don't want to see this car I'll out there. Friendly, well, I'll park it at the campsite. We'll go in yours. See that? That I, that I can deal with. <laughs> that I can deal with. Definitely have to work that out one day. Too easy. Well, thanks for having me on. No worries, mate. Cheers. Too easy. Good. All right, guys. Check this out. We've got ourselves a well-presented adventure here. V8. Hatham's the owner. And we're just going to have a bit of a walk around. Yeah. There's that guy again. Always going to be interrupting us today on the megaphone. Anyway, it looks like he goes he goes touring a little bit over here because he's got the got the front bar up on there, the rear bar. Yeah. Well presented. I can see he's um got a rooftop tent, solar. This is my daily driver. I'm a mobile mechanic, so uh, I work for myself. And um... hang on, you're a mobile mechanic. Yeah. I've just got a car at home. Yeah. That's uh <laughs> that's throwing me back some oil through the dipstick, and I give it a bit of. Tuesday morning of Wagons Nationals. Now, as you can see, it's still in the shed. Now, the reason for that is we uh, were checking the spark plugs last night and we went to fire it back up after we switched the spark plugs. It back pressured and blew oil out of the dipstick, uh, which generally means it's, it's something internal's gone bang. Either a piston, a hole in the block, maybe a cracked head, yeah. I'm not sure. So anyway, so yeah, I've got the solar panel to keep all my power tools charged up. Um, Fridge in the back, laptop and F boss terminal, you know, for delaying. Yeah, so the rooftop tents for farm jobs that take a little bit too long and I have okay. to spend a week there or maybe two. Yep. 
And um, yeah, here I've got my messy workshop. Um, got the toolbox. Oh, hang on, have we got a 10 mil in here somewhere? Oh, no, they're all lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've got my power inverter tucked away in the back there. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. Um, yep. And an Anderson plug for jump starting all the dead vehicles. Yes. So, how do you find the tan leather? Does it, does it not? For me, when I look at tan leather, guys, I see black and tan leather, and it just, it's weird to me. It's like, it's like it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Do you feel like that when you, when you were looking at the car originally? I mean, once you've driven it for a while and it's your car, yeah, you fall in love with what you have. I understand yeah. that. But at first, was it a, is that what you wanted? I was hesitant at first because yeah. being a mechanic, you know, I'm always covered in uh, grease yeah. and soot. Yeah. So um, it's kind of hard cleaning yourself up after a very long day at work. I know all about that, don't worry. And you don't want to mess up the seats. Yeah. So um, it takes a lot of hard work cleaning the car twice a week, you know, stopping the seats from going from tan to black. Yep. So guys, this is something I was trying to tell you guys. These actually did come out to the 05, well, sorry, it's not 05. VZs actually did come out with the VY. Um, body, I think from like October 2004, and one of the reasons why they did is because Holden didn't yet have the approval for the design, so they ended up sticking a lot of the VZ engine stuff um, and labeled it VY. I kept labeling VY too, but well, he's clean this, I can tell, I can yeah. feel how clean. Look it. at your hands now, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, anything special under here? You got an isolator, um, oh, no, yeah, I've a, got, yeah, so that's for the dual battery kit, I've got yeah, 150 yeah. amp hour of deep cycle battery in the back. The charge the charge system from the front or? Uh, charge system on the um, trailer connector. Oh yeah, we have an invader here. What's going on? Yeah. What's your foot? <laughs> yeah, so I think the previous owner was towing a caravan with it. Okay. And yeah, there's a lot of cables going to the rear tow bar. So, yeah, um, okay. Yep, yep. Yeah. I didn't take that out of the video. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. We've got Justin's right here. Probably doesn't sound as good as the one over there. Sorry, Justin. No, nah, mine definitely sounds like a wet fart. <laughs> um, V6 or V8? V8. V8, yeah. So it'd be a um, LX LX8. Yeah. And uh, yeah. tell me a little bit about your car, mate. Mate, I uh, this is my second actual Holden. Uh, I, I bought it because I blew up my VX executive. I came out of the bush and threw a rod. And uh, wasn't looking for it. I was looking for a U. This came up for six grand at the time. Needed a few things, there was like nothing I couldn't handle. Yep. And so I just ended up doing it. Um, yeah, it's like I, I, I had it for a month and I did the transmission, which is you know, kind of happened to these. How many Ks on this? 260 at the moment. But I did the transmission at about 250. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Mods? Exhaust? Uh, it's got a muffler delete, uh, so that's why it sounds like a wet fart. You want to hear how bad it actually sounds? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. I, I, I think it sounds like a wet fart crossed with an outboard. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now that you've mentioned it, yeah. it correlates straight away. It sounds terrible. It sounds alright under power. Bit of rev, she sounds alright. And I can see under here you've got the um, the full blackout. Yeah, the full blackout. Uh, I had this is one of the first thing I did because uh, the, the the roof lining was sagging. I just had a guy come out on a weekend. He did it for me, for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then I was going to a Richmond Collingwood game a couple of years ago, and I got T-boned on this side. Just here. Yep. I can send you the photos later if you want. Yep. And then uh, another group member post fixed it up for me. Oh. And so that's when I got all the pillars all painted. Yeah, okay. That's so, good. I like it. Because I can't, I shouldn't be allowed to paint around to paint. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I wasn't looking for it, but I love it. How do you, I mean, because you weren't looking, you weren't looking for one of these after buying it, what characteristics? Has, has has been a thing that you've noticed like, uh, just how it's handled yeah it's it's like I've, I've, i had a, i had a vy or well, my mum had a vy wagon before yep and you just notice these are a touch heavier 
but they but they much better in the wet. You know yeah, what I mean? Of course, you're all right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks mate. Goodbye. Right. Alright guys, welcome to another video. Here we are today at, uh, I think it's the 17th of August 2022 and here we are at Wagon Nationals 2022. Did you say 17th? Did I say 17th? Yes, it's the 7th. Pretty sure. G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Here we are at Wagon Nationals today. 17th, 7th. 7th? 7th? <laughs> Maybe just don't use data. No, you, you got camera, good alignment? Yeah. G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Here we are at Wagons National 2022. It's the 7th of August today. Beautiful Sunday, it's nice uh, cloud, standard Melbourne weather, and here we are with all the events behind me. Um, there's a lot of turnout, have a look at this. From down there, I think we're gonna have almost 40 adventures here today. And if you, all the way down to the end there, and we've got just a bit of a second row happening just behind there, but just pretty awesome that, that we've got this. Please get... come and exchange it for the proper sticker. Sorry, guys. We had a bit of a mix-up on the in way in. So if you have got a sticker, please come and exchange. Right, While well, they fix their sticker issue, so now I've lost where I was at. We've got people here that have travelled okay. from um, New South Wales. and oh, I give up. We'll come back soon, guys. 